Hello everybody and welcome to the final ever episode of Multiplayer Farming Simulator 2015. So although quite a sad episode because it is the final one, it's also a good episode because it means we'll be moving on to Farming Simulator 17 very soon. As soon as it's released I'll be starting off with my new server, which will be a 16 slot server, so more people will be able to play in one go and it will just be hopefully a lot more enjoyable. Also the synchronising speed should be a lot quicker as well. So, as this is the final episode, we're going to just do a little bit more harvesting, but as you can see, we have actually met the one billion pound goal, which is very impressive. That is all legitimate as well, no money mods involved at all, that is uh, all done very fairly, and there has been a, a great team of players who have managed to do this. I will just quickly, when we get in here, go on the player list and I'll show you everyone who's in the server. So many people who are playing at the moment have been playing for the past few weeks and they have all been part of this effort to get the server money to one billion pounds. Now this field on the left hand side, field number 15, is the field we're going to harvest today. It is oilseed oil rape and, oh, hello, excuse you. Um, this is, I think, actually the only field on the map which is ready to harvest. Uh, oh no, there are, there are a few here, but yeah, there's not many. It's nice and ripe, ready to go, we're still indicating. But yep, here we go, list of players. Um, yes, a lot of people hit Matthew, of course. Naturally, Matthew is always in. But yeah, a lot of these people, big thank you to everybody, Heaps Driver as well, for all putting in so much effort to selling the silage and getting to this fantastic achievement. Really good. So I'm just going to pull out of the way. I believe Chainsaw 100 is on the way with a combine. So we'll be doing the carting for him. I don't know if everybody else is going to swarm over here. Hopefully not. Not saying that in a bad way though. It's just with an Aussie rate field, because the yield is... Well, you don't get too much out of it. Just the way it is. We don't really need more than one trailer. And the sell point isn't exactly far away either. Where is everybody? There is somebody heading past the Forbidden Forest. Or the Enchanted Forest. They come in this way. So, um, yeah, they shouldn't be too far. I'm guessing it is Chainsaw 100. It is in the Axial Flow 9230. Nice big combine there with a 45 foot header. So we're just going to sit tight, and we should see him come across that road over there, if the view distance is good enough. In multiplayer it is reduced. Right, that road you can see over there, you can just about see the back of the combine. He's just come into the view distance, so we kind of missed him. And getting the combine round this narrow lane could be quite difficult, especially that huge one. It's a big machine. There is two combines, okay. Somebody else is on the way as well. We'll probably still only need one tractor. With it being canola. Right. Got some horses just here. And for some reason some maize as well. Not quite sure why it's there. But we're just sort of playing the waiting game here. Yes. I thought it might be a bit of an issue over there. From what I can see on the minimap, it is proving quite difficult. But still moving. Good. So nice to have the manual ignition as standard in FS17. Um, because you soon realise when you come back to 15 how different it is. It's incredible. Right, so the first combine is C&M Contracting. The second one, I'm guessing, is Chainsaw 100. I'd have thought. Here it comes. It is difficult though. Very narrow through there. Yep, here we go. And taking up more than the road. And we're going to get run over. Right, I think we might be a bit in the way, because this would be a great place to turn around, but we'll just see. Can reverse right back here. Just see what happens. I suppose with CNM 
contracting, clearing a bit of space, it will help. Yeah, what well, I don't see what, what you can do really. You've got to turn around in the crop. Having crop destruction would be quite nice. Right, so while this is all going on, I will just discuss what is happening with the FS15 server. Last week I suggested that we would be actually finishing the server tomorrow it would be. However, I have now renewed it for one more month at a reduced capacity. The server will run for another 31 days and it will have a 10 slot capacity to it. The reason for this is because I don't think it would be fair to end the server just like that at the release of 17 because some people can't get the game straight away and I understand that, that is fair enough. So sort of leaving them in the dark about it and stuff and you know not letting them play on any server wouldn't be very fair and as a YouTuber I think that isn't a very supportive thing to do. So yes I have renewed it, 10 slots, that should be good enough I'm hoping, for one more month and then that'll be it, that'll be 15 finished with, all the effort would be going into 17 so yes, really hoping that it's appreciated. Um, I just sort of considered it again after doing the video and I just thought no, no that, that's just unfair, I'm not going to do that. I'm not just going to finish the server with a click of your fingers. So there will be temporarily for a month, there will be two servers running side by side. 17 at 16 slots and 15 at 10 slots. Right, so we don't really need to do too much here as this harvest is going to take a little while. It'd be good if you could see how full the combine is without having to run another mod. It would be very helpful. I suppose in real life you can't see. That's why I use the beacons. Oh, I'm here! Don't... Oh! Oh, that's not gone well. Let's just see. I, I doubt they're very full, just because of the crop type. It is only almost a drape. Yeah, that's like, what is that, 30% full-ish. So if we sort of wait probably over there, or maybe maybe here actually, wait for them to come back round again, we'll be able to unload going back up. But we just don't really need two tractors and trailers. There was another one, but I think they've gone. I think it was Martin. Yeah. Probably a good opportunity to get the drone out and we're going to go for a bit of a fly. See what's happening. Hopefully we don't get our tractors stolen. We'll have to drop back to earth if we do. Uh, oh, there's a bird over here. That is a bird, isn't it? I'm sure it is. It is. It's a static bird. And it's not a static bird. The bird does fly. Bird's eye view. Where are you, bird? There you are. That's it. Ignore the harvesting down below. We've got a more interesting thing happening up here. We have got to chase the bird. What type of bird is that? Not too sure. It's probably really obvious. Anyway, uh, where's my tractor? Oh, they're getting the augers out quickly. Drop back down to earth. This could be painful. They're actually getting full a lot quicker than I thought they were going to. I'm not doing a very good job here. I'm not a good carter. Chainsaw 100 first of all. Here we go. Still a bit in there, but we've got to do C and M. Oh, it's going to be tight. There we go. Hopefully, unload the whole thing, and then we can finish off with Chainsaw One Hundred. Go back up there again. Uh, 
and we're done. Okay. So, I didn't fully unload Chainsaw 100. So, I think there'll still be quite a bit in there. But I did say, before the end of this map, we would come to this field and we'd do some work in here. You see, I stick to my promises. That was a while ago, and we just about made it. The final episode, we're here. Yeah, there's still quite a bit in there. I'm assuming we'll be able to get the whole field into this trailer. There isn't too much left, so yeah, should be. Should be able to. There we go. So we'll pull out of the way and just wait. This is the end. We're done. Everyone is done. So, a combine each side, that would look pretty good. Come on. Right, CNM, you go to the right. Shame you can't hear me, that would be pretty good. Um, so, CNM to our right, Chainsaw 100 to our left, and screenshot time. Providing nobody speaks in the chat, because it doesn't remove... Oh, someone spoke. CNM spoke. Fair enough. Okay, we missed it. Okay. Doesn't matter. I'll find another screenshot. So, I don't think there are any more Aussie rate fields, so we're going to tip this somewhere. Finn Keegan. Good of you to show up, but we've just finished, unfortunately. But yeah, I've always liked this area of Sandy Bay. It's an area which is sort of obvious, but then you never really think to go here. I don't think many people have been here. Okay, the cultivator is on the way. I, I think I'll pull into here. Just to make it easier. This could be interesting. Oh, okay. This is the thing. It's so narrow around here. I don't know how the combines do it, really. We've got a steering trailer and everything. So I'm going to race down to the cell point um, and just get this done. And then we'll see where the combines end up. The famous white cliffs of Sandy Bay. You will be missed. I, oh, look at my driving. I really hope that it is sort of ported over to FS17 with some improvements too, although it's hard to improve. It's pretty much perfect. But it's a map which would just be amazing to come back to with the features of 17. The cell point is just up here on the left hand side. So it's amazing how long I have been playing Sandy Bay 4. It feels like 5 seconds since I recorded the first episode, which was the combine harvesting with the class Lexian up in field, I think it was number 8, was it? Yes it was, number 8, I actually got a field number right. Very impressive. That was, I think, it was New Year's Eve. I think I recorded that for publishing on New Year's Day, if I'm not mistaken. So technically it wasn't even this year that I started playing on this map and it, it just feels like yesterday. It's quite scary really. Time really does fly when you're having fun. So where are the harvesters? Where have they ended up? I don't think anybody really knows where to go to. 
crazy. There's not really much to do because all the fields are quite empty. All the hard work is done. Okay then, so, um, what the? What the? Remember, always stop at a level crossing. Think train. Got a bit of ploughing going on here, and a quad track. Matty. Don't usually see too much ploughing in the server, but it actually looks good, and when you're doing a decent job of it, yeah. It's a nice thing to see, especially from the distance. A quad track with a massive plough behind always looks good. Too many trees, too many trees. But yeah, that, that is a good view. So that is our harvest done. Most of the fields are now being cultivated or seeded because, yeah, that is pretty much it. We have a trailer lineup. Good to see that all the trailers have been returned to the storage field instead of them being dumped in the road. So we're going to add to this fleet. Put this trailer here. There we go. Change some hundreds over there. But yeah, I think we're actually done here. That is it for another episode. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. And that is it for the series, and in fact, Farming Simulator 15 multiplayer. Until Farming Simulator 17 multiplayer, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next series. Bye for now.